Hey guys, what's up? I'm Jade Ocean. Today I'm taking you through a guided ball up workout. So this is a workout flow. I'm going to be taking you through a bunch of exercises and in between we're going to be doing some stretching and everything is linked to breath. So make sure that you are breathing throughout. Very, very important. And uh, so go ahead and grab your bala, my favorite. I love my bala. Grab your bala and grab a mat. We are doing a lot of standing stuff and stuff on the floor as well. So um, stability and a little bit of uh, softness. So make sure you have a mat if possible. And uh, today you are going to be building strength throughout your core, throughout your upper body, all right? And then also your lower body. So it's emphasis in your lower body, but we're doing it all, okay? So grab your bala, grab some water, and be sure to listen to your body. If I'm going too fast or I'm doing something that just seems a little bit too much for you, listen to your body and back off, okay? No need to pressure yourself into do something that you are not ready for. We are all different, we are all unique, and we are all in a different place each day. So listen to where you are that day. Remember that you are exactly where you're supposed to be, okay? So grab your stuff and I will meet you on your mat. you guys let's go ahead and grab our bala so we're going to grab our bala with both hands palms are facing in pull your shoulders back take a nice wide stance here so our feet are going to be wider than shoulder distance apart we're going to make sure the outside of the feet are glued into the mat here and then go ahead and bring your heels in just a little bit so our toes and our knees are pointing out the same direction just slightly okay we're going to stand up nice and tall again pull the shoulders back take a nice full breath in to stand up tall through the crown of the head and then exhale we're going to contract the core in and begin to soften the ribs into the body okay our alignment is very important before we begin our exercise so make sure that you set yourself up properly begin your breathing and let's go ahead and bend the knees drop the weight to touch and then pull it up as we stand up we're going to lift the heels okay so drop the heels bring it down squats bring it up lift the heels so we're bringing the weight just up to our chin so let's repeat this three four five make sure that our knees do not fall forward past our toes seven eight nice and slow nine ten squeeze your quads at the top squeeze your glutes at the top twelve 13, 14, 15, keep the weight right next to you, 16, 17, 18, squat nice and low, 19, and 20, let's stay up on our toes, and let's pulse, let's bring the weight up higher, so we're going to pulse up, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, stay up on those toes, 7, Eight, squeeze your glutes. Nine, 10, slowly bring the weight down. Come all the way to your squat. We're gonna pulse right here. So one, two, three, four, five. Keep the knees open. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Keep going. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and stand up. Release your ball down to the floor. Let's bring your heels back out. Take a deep breath, bring your arms up overhead, and then exhale, fly all the way down. Take a nice stretch right here, a little break. Inhale to lift halfway up, and then exhale, release it down. All right, you guys, let's come all the way up, grab your ball again, and we're gonna come in for lunges. So let's go ahead and pivot over to your left. So let's just Straighten the foot out to the front of the mat here, and then we're going to turn your heel out on the back foot. We're going to take the bala, row it all the way up, and then press it straight up here overhead. Let's go ahead and bend that front knee. We're going to come up to the back toe, so slide your toes back so they're underneath the heels. Make sure that front knee is right over top of the ankle, and then press your leg away from the floor behind you. 
Stay nice and strong and begin to pull that left hip back. Right hip's gonna come forward to square off towards the front of the mat here. You can bring your other arm just out to the side straight, or you can just bring it onto the hip here, whatever feels good to you. And all we're gonna do is straighten the leg here, tap it down, straighten it, tap it down, straighten, tap, straighten, tap. Keep your core nice and strong. So four, five, keep that arm strong. Six, seven, press that leg back. Eight, nine, 10, keep going, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, feel your glutes fire up, 2, and 1, stay here, and we're just going to pulse, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right, let's go ahead and turn. We're gonna bring the arm down for a wide stance once again. Take a breath here. Oh, breathe it out for just a couple breaths. And then we're gonna switch out to the other side. Okay, so let's go ahead and pivot the right leg now forward. Then we're gonna turn that left heel out, come up to the toes here. So slide those toes back and then square off the hips here. We're gonna pull the weight straight up overhead so our arm is nice and locked out above us. We're gonna bend into that front knee. Again, be careful the knee does not go past the toes here and the knee is pointed the same direction as your second big toe. Go ahead and pull that back leg away from the floor so nice and strong through the back leg. Pull the right hip back, left hip forward, but keep that leg nice and straight behind you. And we're gonna go ahead and dip. So one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice strong core. Nine, ten, ten more. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Straighten that back leg. Keep the legs nice and strong here, and we're just gonna pulse for ten. Ten, nine, just a little bit of a bend in the back knee. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and bring that arm down. Woo, I'll pivot towards the front for a wide stance once again. Take a deep breath here. Go ahead and drop your weight down. Bring your arms straight up overhead. Feel your heart rate just rising up and fold all the way forward. So try to catch your breath here, recenter. Make sure you're bending from the hips here. So go ahead and bend into the knees a little bit if you need to. Let your sternum fall to the floor. Letting your upper body relax. All right, you guys, so let's lift halfway. And again, fold it all the way down. Let's roll all the way up, vertebra by vertebra. Arms are gonna come up overhead. Draw your hands together and then just draw them down to your heart. Go ahead and heel toe those feet all the way in here. Very good, just to about hip distance. Okay, so we're gonna come in for squats here with our ball, it's almost like the wide one, but our legs are together a little bit closer this time. So let's breathe in, open the arms up to the sky. Go ahead and swan dive all the way down. Grab your ball and bend your knees to come all the way back up, okay? So this time what we're gonna do is we're just going to press the hips back. So set yourself up first. Deep breath in, pull the shoulders back, okay? Find the length in the legs here. Make sure that your abs are contracted to support your lower back. Make sure your ribs are softened into your body and you have space between the shoulders so you're not rounding forward, okay? And what we're gonna do again is we're gonna pull the hips back and then just touch the ball to the floor. So make sure you have enough space just to touch the ball to the floor. Come up about three-fourths of the way and then tap again, okay? So let's go. That was three, four, five. Really push your hips back as you come down. Six, seven, eight, so keep your core strong, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, squeeze your glutes to come 
that quarter way up. 17, 18, 19, and 20. Let's bring it back down. We're just gonna pulse right here. 10, 9, 8, 7, knees behind the toes. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stand all the way up. Take a breath. Release your ball up to the floor. We're gonna bring the arms straight up overhead again. Draw your hands through your heart center and go ahead and fold all the way down. Forward fold. Inhale to halfway lift. And then exhale, forward fold again. Go ahead and bend your knees here. Let's bring the arms to just out to the side. And then go ahead and clasp them just to rest on your head. So your elbows are going to be out just a little bit here. And all we're going to do is just a little bit of pulsing. So let's go for 10, 9, 8, 7. Core nice and strong. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 10 more. 10, 9, 8, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Very carefully roll all the way up, vertebra by vertebra. Arms are gonna come all the way out to the side, straight up towards the sky. And then just bring your hands to heart center. Very good, you guys. Be proud of yourself. That is a tough one. <sighs> bala or no bala, that's hard. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to come down to our mat. So, go ahead and make your way down to the mat very carefully. Take a breath here. Knees up, bottom of the feet planted into the earth. Step nice and tall, just find your alignment here. So again, same thing, shoulders back, okay? Soften the ribs into the body, which means we're not arching in the upper back. We wanna soften them in. Sometimes what we notice is we're just pushing the chest out and we don't wanna be doing that. We wanna spread the collarbone. We wanna make sure we have space between the shoulders so we're not using our traps to pull them in, okay? And then we're really using our core to be upright, okay? So contracting that navel up and in towards the spine. Okay, bending from the hips, making sure we're not rounding in the lower back as much as possible. And sometimes you'll notice you will a little bit and it's okay as long as your core is very, very strong, okay? So just stay here for just a minute, maybe bringing your hands just behind your hamstrings here. Take a breath, close your eyes, just recentering, finding that intention for your class today, for showing up on your mat, whatever that may be, whether it's to get stronger, whether it's just to find some clarity to either even your body out or become a little bit more, you know, limber in some of these workouts. Just coming back to that intention. Remembering that your body is exactly where it's supposed to be and try not to judge it. Just notice where it's at and honor where it is and just move forward. Okay, so let's move into our next exercise, which is going to be on our side. So move your ball off to the side so you don't run into it. And then I'm just going to come onto my side here. I'm going to come right onto my elbow. Make sure your ball is right next to you. You can drag it in here. And then stack your knees and have your legs at a 90 degree bend here. Okay, so feet on top of each other. And then your elbow is going to be right underneath your shoulder here. Okay, make sure, again, your core is nice and strong. Even though we're in a different position, it's the same alignment. All right, things change a little bit with the limbs, but our core is always going to be very strong in each exercise. So let's go ahead and grab your bala and just bring it on top of your hip here. Okay, you're gonna have to hold it, so make sure you have a good grip on it, all right? I put my arm on top of it and just hang on to the bottom of the bala. We're gonna come in for our clamshells, but we're going to lift our hips off the floor. So I call this elevated clamshell or a full clamshell, okay? So a little bit of arms here, a lot of side core, oblique area, lots of hips, lots of glutes, everything. All right, so take a breath here, all right? Make sure that core is nice and strong. And then we're gonna lift the hips, open the knee, keep the toes together, and bring it back down. That's one, lift, two, three. If it's a little too much to lift the hips, you can keep the hips on the floor and just open the knees. Five, keep going. Six, make sure that elbow stays underneath the shoulder. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, keep the toes together, 15, 16, 17, we're almost there you guys, 18, 19, 
and 20 hold right here and we're just gonna pulse the hip so if you're down just pulse your knee 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 feel the burn 3 2 1 all right release the knee bring the hip back down oh, take a break here I know that's a lot and then let's press all the way up move our ball and we're just gonna switch sides okay so let's come to the other side first what I want you to do is just extend your feet straight out take a nice deep breath make sure that you are sitting up nice and tall if you need to bend your knees that's perfectly fine again listen to your body so let's bring the arms out to the side straight up and then let's just hinge forward remember from the hips so keep bending those knees until you feel a nice neutral back so we're not rounding excessively in the lower back keep the core nice and strong and just fold forward let the forehead or the face just fall between the legs here resting on top of the legs take a breath into the back body and breathe it out just noticing all the emotions coming up noticing all the feelings and sensations within the body maybe within the mind and just letting it pass not ignoring it just noticing it not judging it just letting it be okay very carefully roll now nice strong core all the way up and then we're going to switch it out so bring your legs shift them off to the side here we're going to come onto our right side and if you did your right side just come onto your left side okay bend 90 degree with the elbow make sure that you're pressing into the hand the forearm and your elbow is right underneath your shoulders so make adjustments as needed 90 degree in the legs knees are coming forward a little bit okay feet are stacked knees are stacked let's grab that bala and then very carefully place it on your hip okay make sure it's comfortable not digging or hurting you and then again we're going to come in for our clam shells try to repeat what you did on the other side so if you stayed on the ground and just lifted the knee that's fine again listen to your body all right maybe next time you can go a little bit further if not that's okay too all right just listen to your body all right deep breath in and let's go ahead and lift the hips lift the knee one drop it back down lift two lift three four nice and slow five six seven keep the core really strong eight nine so think of using your core a lot in your side here that's closest to the ground 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 stay lifted and we're just gonna pulse so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten release oh my gosh that side was a burn for me and then again huh, take a breath let's move the ball off to the front here and this time what we're gonna do is we're going to bring the bottoms the sole of your feet together let your knees just fall off to the side here let your knees just fall off to the side here What we're gonna do is bring your feet to the earth again and knees are gonna be pointed up let's walk the feet out just to the side a little bit so it's beyond your shoulders we're gonna bring our hands just behind us to support us take a breath think of pulling the sternum forward and we're just gonna let the knees fall off to the side okay so off to one side doesn't matter which side you start with let it fall to the other side okay just relaxing the hips right now that seem to be maybe a little bit aggravated or feeling a little bit tight from that workout so just moving it side to side as we call this windshield wipers in yoga or whatever you want to call it today this is really good relaxer for the hips for the hip joint a couple more times remember to breathe all right let's come right back up Okay, you guys, you're doing very, very good. I'm very proud of you if you're staying with me and trying. So we are actually gonna come into a downward facing dog position, but let's set ourselves up. Let's first come into a tabletop pose. So knees underneath your hips here, hands are gonna be right underneath your shoulders. Take a deep breath here. Just breathe, contract your core up and in towards your spine. Pull your shoulders down, close your eyes maybe. Make sure your head is not falling forward or cranking back here. You want it to be neutral. Your neck 
is part of your entire spine, so make sure you keep it in the same position with your spine. Deep breath. And what we're gonna do is very carefully grab your bala, and you can sit back here. You're gonna grab your bala and just place it right on top of your glutes here, okay? Very carefully. And so it's nice and supported there with your glutes. And then come back to your tabletop. Deep breath in. So let's press into the hands. Make sure that we spin those triceps back. We're gonna curl the toes and begin to lift the hips straight back. So keep the knees bent to start. Just find that alignment in the upper body. So keep pressing the sternum towards the floor here. Make sure that your shoulders don't crunch up towards your ears, or should I say down towards your ears. So keep them spread away from your ears and back or up away from the floor. And then maybe you can begin to straighten out your hamstrings just a little bit. And then maybe you can begin to straighten out your legs just a little bit more. So maybe walking into one side, releasing the opposite heel. Just walking into your down dog for a minute. And breathe in here. And exhale. So we're gonna roll all the way forward to a plank here. So nice and strong in your core. And then we're gonna bend the knees to come back to a hovering tabletop. So this is bear pose. And then we're gonna press right back into our downward facing dog. Okay? So roll it forward plank, bend the knees, bear, and then press back, downward facing dog. Two, roll it forward plank, bend the knees, bear, press it back, downward facing dog. Three, roll it forward plank, hover bear, press it back. Four, roll forward plank, hover, Press it back. Five. Plank. Bear. Press it back. Six. Roll it forward. Stay strong in your core. Bend the knees. Stay strong in your quads here in your arms. Press it back. Use your core to lift the hips up and back. Seven. Roll to plank. Lots of arms here. Bend and hover. Bear. If you need to come to your knees too, all the way down, you can. Press it back at eight. Roll it forward. Bear. Press it back. Nine. Lift the hips straight back. Roll it forward. Bend the knees. And press it back. Ten. Lift the hips up. Let's roll it forward. Let's stay here for ten. Nine. Eight, seven, lift the core up. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Hover, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Right back into your downward facing dog. Good job, you guys. Ooh, breathe. Okay, very carefully come right back down to your hands and knees, and then you can sit back and grab your bala. Let's come all the way back onto our heels here. So sitting in our Vajrasana pose, our hero's pose. Take a breath here. Close your eyes, place your hands just on top of your thighs, and just take a moment again to recenter. Notice the sensations in the arms this time, maybe in the shoulders. Breathe. Okay, so this time we're gonna work our quads, a lot of our core, but mainly in the quads. So let's grab Bala. Let's bring our knees to be about hip distance apart, okay? We're going to grab the Bala and just place it on your chest. Go ahead and grab your hand just around the front to secure it towards your body. Sit up tall, spread those shoulder blades, spread your shoulders, make sure there's space in the spine here. So lifting up through the crown of the head, okay? And just find what works for you for hanging onto the ball. I do a little crisscross in the front here, grabbing onto opposite sides here with the hands. And what we're going to do here is we're going to press into the shins and the top of the feet and come all the way up. So kneeling pose here, squeeze the glutes and pull the tailbone down towards the floor. 
This is going to elongate through your spine, okay? Contract the core up and into the spine. Pull the ribs into the body, okay? Breathe here. And then we're gonna begin to press into the floor even more with our shins as we lean. We keep this alignment straight. Start to lean back so you can't go anymore. Your quads are just on fire here. And then begin to bend and sit straight back. Okay, that's one. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna come up to kneeling, squeeze the glutes, find your alignment, nice and slow. Lean back, so springing back here until you can't go anymore. And then sit it back, all right? So two. Squeeze at the top, pause, not too fast. And then spring it back, keep the core strong. How far can you go? And bend at the hips. Three, spring forward here. Squeeze the glutes, press into the shins. Begin to come back, keep the core strong. Bend at the hips, sit back. Five, all the way up. Spring it back sit back and if this feels too much on the ankles you can roll up a blanket and put it right underneath the bend of the ankles too okay so bring it up squeeze the glutes here so this isn't resting we're squeezing the glutes squeezing the core here springing it back and you maybe can't go as far as this time that's that's fine okay as we keep going it's gonna get a little bit harder sit back come up breathe as you move inhale here exhale to bring it back tighten the core sit back seven bring it up squeeze the glutes bring it back keep going sit back eight all the way up spring back sit back nine one more bring it up squeeze the glutes press into the earth with the shins Going to spring back and Sit straight back, that's really intense on the quads. This time we're gonna come up, okay? And then we're gonna spring back just a little bit and pulse, okay? So we're gonna go 10, nine, don't go too far back, eight, nice and controlled, seven, core strong, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and bend the hips. Let's move the ball just off to the side and we're going to stay with our legs the way they are. Bring our arms all the way up overhead and then bring them forward. And we're just going to release into our child's pose for a rest here. So release your forehead to the mat, elbows come down to the mat. Let your body just surrender here between your legs. So open your knees up just a little bit and breathe. Breathing into the back of the heart here in our little forward fold. more breaths very important to take the time to connect with your breath between each exercise and make sure you're going into a little bit of a stretch in between as well very important let's roll vertebra by vertebra all the way back up very good you guys okay so this time what we're gonna do is come into a uh, pretty intense exercise, but it's one of my favorites. It's a uh, Turkish get up. So let me show you how it's done. We're gonna do five on each side. Okay, so let's go ahead and swoop the legs just out in front of us. And we're gonna come all the way down to our backs here. Whew, take a breath here. And then what we're gonna do is grab our bala and then bring it up overhead. So. Grab onto it with one hand and let it just rest in your palm. You're going to let it hang down your arm. So make sure that your arm is locked out at the elbow and it's pulling down right into your shoulder joint here, okay? So we're not rolling that uh, shoulder blade up off the floor. Okay, so tuck the shoulder blades here. Again, we're going to find that alignment. So pull your belly into your spine here. Pull your tailbone down so you can feel the bottom of your back into the earth here. Take a deep breath and just bring your arm, your left arm out to the side here. Knees are up. Very good. Breathe. Let your face relax here. 
So let's bring that left arm a little bit closer towards the body now. So it's about maybe six inches away from your, your side here. What we're gonna do is very carefully press into the feet, contract the core, and begin to roll all the way up to the elbow, and then all the way up onto the hand here so the left arm is straight. When we do this, we wanna keep the ball up pressing up towards the sky. So always full movement, we wanna make sure that ball is pressing up towards the sky, that's most important, okay? So we're gonna press into that right foot, we're going to pull that left knee down towards the floor, left hand is on the floor here and we're going to lift the left hips up so we're pressing into that right foot and then we're going to press into that left knee now and then lift up off the floor go ahead and pivot that left foot behind you press into that front heel make sure that it's right underneath the knee and you're just going to stand all the way up so you can bring that left leg in and we're going to reverse it so we're going to step back like we're going into a lunge lower that left knee all the way down uncurl the toes very carefully press the ball up as we come into the side here release the left hand just to the outside of the shin here and then we're gonna press into the hand sweep that left leg forward so we can come on to our butts here and then very carefully really contract that core roll all the way down ball is still all the way up okay let's repeat that so up to the elbow Okay, press into that right foot, so you can pull it in if you need to, press into the left hand. Ball is still pressing up, lift the hips up. Left leg goes behind us, we're coming up to our lunge, so lift that left knee straight up and step forward. Okay, that's two. Side strong, press into the hand, lift that left leg forward, knees up, roll all the way down. Ball is still facing up. All right, three, up, press into the right foot, lift the hips, Left leg comes behind us. Make sure that left foot is pivot behind us. Curl the back toes, lift the knee, and then step forward into our lunge, okay? Again, four. And one more, all the way down. Lift it up. Okay, so we'll make sure that we're bending from our hip flexors. We're gonna press into that left hand, press into the right foot, lift the hips, Swoop that left leg behind us into a low lunge, and then we're gonna curl the back toes, lift the knee, straighten that leg, step forward. All right, come all the way down, hand comes down, swoop it forward, all the way back, and very good, you guys. Let's bend at the elbow, bring the bala down. You guys did awesome. Let's switch out sides here. Okay, so we're gonna come into the left side. All right, so right arm's gonna come out to the side, Left arm's coming straight up towards the sky. Make sure you keep that left shoulder glued into the floor here. Pull the tailbone down, breathe in. And now let's go ahead and walk that right hand a little bit closer towards the body. Remember, we're pressing that ball up towards the sky. So we're gonna roll up, contract the core, roll all the way up to the elbow, and then we're gonna press up to the hand. Okay, this time we're gonna bring that left heel and press into the left heel. Keep the arm nice and locked up towards the sky. Lift the hips, swoop that right leg behind us. Okay, so we're in a low lunge. Make sure that front heel is right underneath the knee. Curl the back toes, lift up to our high lunge. Step forward, okay? So step it back, lower the knee. All right, uncurl the toes. Right arm comes to the floor, ball is still pointed up, so we're using a lot of side core here. Press into that left heel, swoop the right leg forward, come right down to the floor, roll, contracting the core all the way down. That was one, all the way up, right hand down, press, lift the hips, low lunge, high lunge, step it forward, back, low lunge, very carefully, right hand down, Right leg forward, roll it back. Two, up, good. Right hand down, bring that left heel in. Low lunge, high lunge, step it forward. Straight back, bend the knee down, low lunge. Right hand down, press into the right hand. Right leg comes forward, roll it down. Right back up, press into the left foot. Right leg behind you, low lunge. Lift the back leg up, step it forward. Okay, feel your shoulder on fire here. Low lunge, right hand down, right leg forward, roll it back nice and slow. And if it's too much with the bala, you can go ahead and bring the bala down to the floor and just do this without the bala up. Stand it up, straight back, down into a lunge. Down, 
all the way, roll it back. One more time. Up, press into the hand, press into the heel. Straight back, low lunge, high lunge, step it forward. Step it back, low lunge, right hand down, right into your seated, roll it back. Ball is gonna come all the way down to your chest here. Go ahead and bring the ball actually right onto your belly. So it's gonna be on your belly and on your hips here. And then we're just gonna bring our heels in. Just take a breath here. Make sure that your heels are hip distance apart. Go ahead and press your hands into the mat and let's just set ourselves up. So tuck the shoulder blades underneath our back here and then pull the shoulders down so you're loose in the neck. Take a nice full deep inhalation and exhale. Just finding softness here, okay? Keeping the knees pointed up towards the sky. And we're gonna come in for our bridges. Take a breath. Let's press into the hands, press into the triceps, the upper arms here, press into the heels, the entire foot if you can, and lift the hips so they're just in a neutral line with your knees here, okay? So from shoulders to knees, that's one line. We're gonna tuck that tailbone, squeeze the core if you need to bring the ball down just a little bit if it's slide slid up a little bit go ahead and adjust yourself okay so stay here and then drop the hips down lift it back up so tap the floor and come right back up okay keep pulling the shoulders down so I don't want your traps riding up I want a space in the neck two three four five keep your knees in line with your hips don't let them fall out to the side six seven Eight, nine, squeeze at the top, 10, 10 more here, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, squeeze your core, five, four, three, good job you guys, two, and one, we're gonna pause at the top here. Okay, not too high, so bring your hips down just a little bit if they're too high. And then let's adjust our ball so it's a little bit lower if we need to on the hips here. And then we're gonna pulse. So press into the heels, keep the knees in line with your hips. Think of squeezing the side hips in here, squeezing the inner thighs even though we're not bringing the inner thighs close. And then we're just gonna pulse. So a little relaxation in the hips and then bring it back up. So eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, let's go, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, stay here, hold, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, very carefully roll, slow and controlled all the way down to the floor. I know we're almost there. Release the hips and go ahead and move your ball. I just whew, off to the side. Go ahead and walk your feet just out to the side. Let your knees fall in this time. Collapse in towards each other. Turn your palms to face up. And just breathe here. No contracting, letting your knees just fall in. So completely surrender here. Notice any tension in your face. Just let that go. And maybe come to the roof of your mouth. Just completely relax. Let the earth support you. No contracting muscles. We're doing enough of that. Take this moment. Gift yourself this time to completely surrender. Completely relax. Completely let go. We have one more exercise ahead of us. So enjoy this moment. And we are almost done. One more deep breath in. Through the nose and slow and contracted in the belly. Let's go ahead and slowly exhale. Okay, so let's bring the knees back up to neutral. Walk the feet back in. We're going to stay here on the back, but let's pull the tailbone down again. So we're imprinting the back of the lower spine into the floor. And what we're going to do is grab our bala in our hands. Okay, 
Grab it on each side with both of our hands so our hands are facing towards each other. All right, so what we're gonna do is bring our feet to extend straight, not up towards the sky, but kind of towards the corner of the mat here, up in the corner, straight ahead, okay? And then so what we're gonna do now is we're going to roll and curl our shoulders up off the floor, and then we're just gonna pressing the ball up towards the sky. All right, keep the shoulders away from the ears, pressing the lower back into the floor. We're just gonna lower, keep the legs nice and straight, point the toes, lower the feet down towards the floor, okay? You don't have to touch the floor, you don't have to come down so far, just do what your body will allow. Keep those toes pointed, toes apart just a little bit here in a Pilates stance. And let's lower it back down, bring it back up. Two, lower, nice and controlled, three, four, really contracting the belly towards the earth, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, let's go for ten more, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, come on you guys, I knew you can do it, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, let's lower those feet down a little bit. We're gonna bring the bala into our chest and lower all the way down in the upper body. Let's bring the palms to the mat here. And then we're just going to stay here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring the knees in, Ooh, straighten the legs straight up above and then lower. Bring the knees in, legs above, lower. Bring the knees in, legs above, lower. Feel the core, knees in, legs above, lower, almost done. Knees in, legs above, lower, little lower abs here. In, up, lower. In, up, lower. In, up, lower, hold. And then bring your knees in here. Go ahead and bring your hands around your shins and just let your knees fall towards your chest here. Keep your legs together in Apanasana pose. Make sure you have space in the neck, so maybe rolling your head side to side. You can move your ball off to the side as well. You don't have to keep it on top of you. your feet to the mat. Let's bring our bala just off to the side here. We're going to roll very carefully all the way up. So make your way up to a seated position. Let's bring the soles of our feet together in front of us and these are going to fall off to the side. So this could look a few ways. You can have your feet close to you if you're able to get your knees out to the side without pain and sit up straight. If that's not working out for you, go ahead and bring your feet forward, okay? What I want you to do is sit up nice and tall here. So we're gonna hook our hands either around our shins if our feet are further away, or if your feet are close, you can just bring them around your feet here. What I want you to do is pull your heart forward, spread your shoulders, spread your collarbone here, close your eyes, and just take a deep breath in. Think of pulling that heart, shining it up towards the sky a little bit if you can. So maybe pressing the shoulder blades into the back will give you that image of shining your heart up towards the sky a little bit more. Breathe here. Just drawing your attention inward right now. Noticing that third eye. Noticing maybe the sensations within. See if you can see them, that energy running through your body. Settling into your body right now. Knowing that you have completed a rigorous workout. This is tough. You showed up, you gave it your all. You notice where your body was. You listen to yourself. Finding that love for yourself will help you to exude love for others. Right? So remembering that. Don't ever forget that. Okay. So I want you to release your hands. So if you need to, again, you're going to sit up nice and tall. If you need to bring your feet out a little bit forward, that's perfectly fine. Let's bring the palms towards the sky. Deep breath in, reaching through the side body. And then let's bring the hands forward. And if you can, go ahead and 
fold forward here into your butterfly pose. If not, then you can stay upright. That's perfectly fine too. Make sure your core is nice and strong here. Shoulders are pulling down. And go ahead and just let your head relax here. So even if you're upright, your head can just relax and fall here. Most importantly is your core is very strong. I'm gonna come down just a little bit further here. Just breathe, let it go. One more deep breath in. And very carefully come all the way up if you're not already. Let's bring the knees upright and we're gonna do one more time. Walk the feet out to the side. Bring your hands behind you, lean back just a little bit and we're just gonna come for that windshield wiper. So knees falling off to one side and then coming to the other side, okay? So switch and switch. Keep your core strong even in this little relaxing pose here. All right, you guys, let's come to a cross leg pose, whatever is comfortable for you. Again, let's reach the arms up towards the sky. Draw your hands to heart center. Draw them right down to your, th your thumbs to your heart. Draw them right down to your heart. Draw your hands together and right down to your heart center. And drop your chin. Just taking a few moments here to close this practice out today. Whether you're starting your day or ending your day, I hope you move on with a beautiful mindset, some clarity, feeling a little bit more balanced. Thank you for allowing me to guide you through this Bala beautiful workout, and I hope I see you again. Namaste.